I'm Mike Ladisa with Crack Music. And in today's Tuesday Tip, I'm going to show you how to play this worship movement progression that I was just playing. I had a young lady visit here us here at the Crack Center last week. And uh, just the love and the joy of the piano uh, was uh, in her heart and in her hand's grasp. Uh, but needed just a little help connecting the dots. And so I told her I would uh, make this video for her and to share with others like her. So Quantina, if you're watching, this is for you. We're in the key of D flat major, even though we don't say D flat chord here. Uh, D flat has five flats. Now this can be somewhat intimidating if you're a new student, but never fear. Let me walk you through it. D flat is the one, E flat is the two, F is the three, G flat is the four, A flat is the five, B flat is the six, C is the seven, and of course back to one is D flat. Now this key actually is very, very comfortable playing for the hands uh, because it has an ergonomical shape with the, the hands so that when I play like for example the D flat chord, my, my thumb is shorter and so it, it makes very much sense for my thumb to be on the white key while my longer fingers are on the black keys. Same thing if I play uh, an A flat major chord, again the shorter thumb is on the white key. And so whenever you're playing this key, generally you want to just make sure that those two white keys, C and F, that are part of this scale, play the white keys. And then everything else will feel very, very natural. All right, now how does this worship progression work? Well, it's moving from the six chord to the five chord to the four chord. All right, let's count again. I will take a little lower this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. B flat is the six. All right, so I'm just gonna double that. And this is the movement. Again, it just kind of repeats in music. This is called a vamp. Vamp is something that can be flexible and continue. Sometimes, after getting to that G flat, that four chord, you might walk back up. All right? That's all we're doing. That's the overall movement. And then we have to create harmony over that. And I'm going to show you just basic three note harmony, all right? So the sixth chord, what we're going to do is take every other note to build a chord. So six, I skip seven, I play one, skip two, and I play three. The sixth chord has every other scale tone, all right? So it actually has the six, the one, and the three in it but it's named after the bottom tone, so that's the sixth chord. All right, then we go to the five chord. Remember five is A, skip six, add seven, skip one, add two. That's the five chord. And then lastly, we can go down to the four chord. Four is G flat, skip five, add six, skip seven, add one. All right, so here's the... the basic flow of it. Let's play like this. Now in my right hand I'm playing these chords in root position and I'm just doubling the root in the left hand. However, it's most common to voice the right hand a little bit differently. A really nice melodic line occurs when you put the third of the chord top each time that's the heart of the movement right there you could do a lot with that all right so then if I want to flesh this out that's actually what I have in the alpha notation there that's the sixth chord although it's in, inverted so that the fifth of the chord is in the bottom here's the five chord and then the four chord. All right, so this is what I play now. That's it. Again. All right. From there, you can begin to ornament. All right, all I did was walk. 
walk up to it again. This time, when I get up to that top note in each little walk up there, I'm going to add the harmonic chord. All right, that's the same as just, excuse me. Certain things you do with the left hand. Just adds a little more motion for those of you who are more intermediate. All kind of stuff I can do. All right, then I'm just gonna. Continue to color and experiment. This is coloring, all right? Experimenting. Improvise. See what you can come up with. You can take it up an octave. visit us at Croc Center or check us out online at croccenterchicago.com. I'm Mike Ladisa. Thanks for watching.